Today I'll be doing an overview of the Wired AK84 mechanical keyboard sent to me from Yunzi.com. This is a 75% keyboard with 84 keys and it features an aluminum frame with a plastic bottom as well as a hot swap PCB. It was packaged very nicely and I'm really liking the illustration on the spacebar. I also noticed that the escape key is a stepped key, which was the first time I experienced this on a pre-built keyboard. Inside the main box were a handful of accessories. Inside the small box, I found some extra switches, a keycap puller, and a switch puller. There's also a USB-C cable and two extra sets of keycaps. One was plain gray and the other a pink space theme. Here's how the keyboard looks out of the box. The bottom of the keyboard features two flip-out feet to change the angle of it. I'm really liking the aluminum trim, which I can already tell makes the board much sturdier and gives it a cleaner finish. I grab my fairy stick keycap puller from Zoma Plus and remove the few keys to check out the switches. I also use my switch puller from Hippo Keys. This keyboard came with Gatoron yellow linear switches that are already pre-lubed and you can choose from other switch options on the Yunzi website. Because this keyboard is a hot swap, you can also opt to add in your own switch choice if you prefer and it works with both 3 and 5 pin switches. For stabilizers, these are pretty decent out of the box but I do think they could use a bit of extra lube and fine tuning. My first impression of this keyboard is that it would be a great project for anyone who wants to practice modding keyboards or for someone who just wants a beginner mechanical keyboard to try out. It's pretty fun to type on and I'm already excited to try out the novelty keys. Before we get into that though, I want to plug it in and see how the RGB looks. The keycaps on this keyboard have shine through legends which you can definitely see when the keyboard is plugged in with RGB on. There are macro keys that allow you to change the RGB mode and settings, which you can see on the manual that came with the keyboard. Now it's time to try out the keycaps that were included. First up are the pink space theme keycaps, which include a really fun space bar with a graffiti style design. Next, I tried out the gray set, which is perfect for anyone who likes this keyboard but doesn't want a keycap set that stands out too much. I've decided that I want to combine the default keycaps with the pink keycaps because the colors look nice together and I like the look of this spacebar the best. Some additional features of this keyboard include the fact that it's specifically optimized for Mac OS compatibility with easy access to window layouts via hotkeys. The keycaps included are PBT Double Shot and they have an OEM profile and if you don't like the ones it came with for any reason, you can always invest in another keycap set to replace it. Overall, I had a great time trying out this keyboard and taking photos of the different keycap combinations. While I tend to go for more customized builds these days and buying all the parts separately, I do think this is a really fun keyboard that those of you who are new to mechanical keyboards would enjoy. I know the aluminum trim won't match everyone's aesthetic, but it gives it something unique in looks compared to other pre-built with the same layout. At the time of filming this video, you can get this keyboard on Yunzi.com's website for about $95 USD and you can use my code MOCHI for $5 off your order. The fact that you can easily mod it and customize it makes this a good choice compared to other pre in this price range and you can even go as far as opening it up and adding in a layer of foam if you want to give it an extra easy upgrade along the way. In addition, if you aren't a fan of the keycaps, Yunzi has a lot of great options that you can look into that may suit your needs better and my code will also work for those products as well. I'll leave a link to this keyboard in the description below, so make sure to check it out. I've got another overview video coming up soon and two keyboard builds, so make sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel to see more. Thanks for watching!